What's up, you data friends? It's Yanis here, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this flow map in Power BI. These flow maps are actually very useful when it comes to analyzing destinations. So when you want to analyze data that goes from A to B point, for example. And in our case, we have this Excel file over here that has some flights data information. Right, starting with the first thing we want to do now, let me move this over here and open a blank file. I want to add a picture at the background and also change the color in order to make it look nice before I start building my visuals. So I'm going to go over here into formatting our report page. I'm going to click on canvas background. I'm going to change our background to this gray over here and we are going to set transparency to zero so we have a gray background. Nice. Now we want to add our image. So I'm going to click over here. I'm going to find our image. I think it's this one. Click open. There we go. We have our image. And now I'm going to expand this image to take all the space. So maybe uh, let me do this uh, like this in the middle. And I'm going to make it a bit smaller like this. Now I want to add a rectangle on top of it and then change the transparency. So let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to click over here and then create a rectangle. We are going to put it over our image, so like this, uh, and then like this. Now we're going to go over into style. We are going to click into the border to remove it. We are going to change the field to the same color as before. And now we are going to edit the transparency, so maybe 27%. So now we have the globe in the background, so it looks a bit nicer. Right, next we want to add our title, so we're going to click on the text box and we're going to move it over here and then take this space, let's say, and our title is going to be destination and flow map, so I'm just going to copy paste, move this a bit up, put it in the middle and we have our title. Next, we want to load our raw data, so we're going to click on home, then Excel workbook. By the way, I'm going to have this raw data uploaded in my GitHub page in the link in the video description. So you can click on it, download the file and do this with me as we go through in the video. So I'm going to select our data. We're going to select our sheet one, which is where we have our data. Click load. There we go. We have our data over here and I'm going to rename this data into destination map data like this. Now we want to create our filters, which is these two filters, sorry, slicers. These two slicers you see over here, the continent and then the airline. So I'm going to click over here in the continent. This is going to create a table maybe, let's see. No, it actually created a map, but I don't want a map. I want to change this into a slicer like this. I want it to take 50% of the page like this. I want to go over here, uh, slicer settings, change it into a tile like this. Now I want to change the values and the border, let's say, to only have the right one like this. I want to change the color into this light blue like this. I want to remove the header. I want to add a title. The title is going to be a continent. So copy this, paste, uh, make it black, move it in the middle, make it bold maybe, let's see. Yeah, it looks nice. And now we want to copy this, paste it, and over here we are going to have the airline. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to remove continent and add airline. Uh, I also need to change the title, so the title of this one is going to be airline, like this, and I want to make both a bit smaller. So I'm going to select both and then change their size. Uh, so width is going to be 620 maybe. Let's see. No, this is too much. 624. Uh, and then let's move them. Let's see uh, this one over here and down. And then this one over uh, here and down. Actually, a bit smaller. 622. Uh, yeah, move it. Let's see. Down. Nice. So this looks a lot nicer now. Next, we want to create these two slicers now, the from city and to city. To do this, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna copy this, and sorry, copy this, paste it down here, and then uh, maybe over here, and then I want it to take this space, uh, maybe like this, and now I want to change the field from continent to be from city, like this uh, on the top, uh, let's see, I want to change the slicer settings and I want this to be a vertical list like this and I'm going to copy it and paste it below 
just to make sure they have the same space now. Uh, so both of them have to be a bit smaller. Let me see, smaller and then a bit smaller. Nice. This is the from city, so copy the title and then paste it over here. And then this is the uh, to city, so copy, paste, and also change it into to city like this. Uh, and we can also add the search just in case we want to search the cities. So now we also have the search. And the last thing we want to do now is to create our flow map over here. To do this now, we're going to have to download a custom visual. So we're going to have to go over here, click on get more visuals. Then we want to search for a flow map, which is this map over here. And then we want to click add. There you go. So now we have a new visual down here, which is our flow map. So I'm just going to click it. And this is, oh no, go back. I replaced to CT with the flow map. Go back. Go back is not working. So I'm going to click on the slicer again. There we go. To CT. We actually need to remove the slicer header. There we go. So now I'm going to click over here and I'm going to create this new visual and we're going to take all this space uh, like uh, this. Yes, and now we want to add the origin is the from CT, the destination is the to CT, and then the width and the color now, we're going to have to create a new measure, which is going to be the count of flight ID. So I'm going to right click, create new measure. I'm going to name this as NO of flights, which is the number of flights, equals, and then count. And over here, I'm going to add the flight ID. Close it and now I'm going to use the number of lights on the width and also on the color. Now, if we have revenue, for example, or a different measure over here, we could have used one value for the width and the width is actually how fat the line is and another one for the color, which is going to be different colors depending on the scale. However, we only have one measure in this data set, so we're going to use the same for both just to showcase how it works. Right, so now we're gonna start formatting our visual to make it look nicer. So first, if you go over the visual style, I'm gonna keep it as great circle because I don't really like these straight lines over here. Next, I wanna change the colors. I wanna set my default into a light gray. I wanna change my minimum to be dark, so black maybe, like this, and I want to change my maximum to be bright yellow, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select something like uh, this one over here. Next, I want to change the width, so let me move this up so you can see. Uh, over here, I want to change my width to be linear, so it's correct. I want to have minimum as 1 and then maximum as 10. Uh, so if you see over here, we have our circles a bit smaller. Now we want to reduce the bubble size. Let me remove this down. So let me see how much I have over here. We want the bubble size to be 11. So I'm going to move it down to uh, 11 uh, like this. And I actually want it for the destination and also for the origin. So that's fine. I'm going to leave it as destination. I don't want a tooltip. Let me see, do I want one? No, I want to leave it like this. Um, next, we want to go over the map element. Let me expand this so you can see. Uh, I want to remove the forest, label, and city. And then I also want to add the labels. There should be somewhere, let me see. Uh, bubble, and then tooltip, I want to have all. So we can see the labels. So if we click on Beijing, for example, we want to see the from city, or actually, I want the, let me see, origin, there we go, nice. So when we select Beijing, we can see all the cities that Beijing flies to. Let's check from Berlin, yeah, sorry, all the flights flying to the city you select over here. So all the flights flying to Dubai, where they start and where they finish. Uh, let me see, yeah, that's fine, that's correct. Let's test uh, just one airline, for example. Yep, that works. Let's check Europe. Yep, from Europe. And then let's check uh, flights from Europe to Berlin. We can see from Amsterdam, Paris, and Madrid. And if we check flights from Europe to, uh, let's do somewhere outside, Rio de Janeiro, you, you can see we have flights from Berlin, Amsterdam, London, Paris, and Madrid. Right. So this is how you can use Power BI to create these destination slash flow maps.
If you have any questions or any ideas, please let me know in the comments below and I can have a look at them. If you've enjoyed this video, then I would really appreciate it if you click the like button, subscribe to my channel and enable notifications for future videos.